Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. This is the first episode of a series in which we're going to be making a low poly human character. I decided to scrap my old series where I was also making a humanoid character because the character wasn't made the best way and it w we were just run into more and more problems as we went on. It was just all sorts of problems. So that's why I'm making a better and uh, newer tutorials on how to make a character. So I'm going to be modeling from a cube. You can see the keys I'm pressing down here. So I just went into front orthographic view. I'm going to press shift A and add in a new cube. And this is going to be our head. You can go into edit mode and then you can press W and say subdivide smooth and you're going to get this cool shape. Now we just want to model this so it looks kind of like a head. But first I'm going to go into wireframe mode with Z, press B and select the left side of the mesh, press X and delete the vertices. I'm going to go over to the modifiers tab and add in a mirror modifier and turn on clipping here. And now we can start modeling our head. One cool thing that's gonna help us, you can press O to enable proportional editing. Select this vertice here and then just press G to move and Z to move it on the Z axis. And then I'm just going to increase this the size of this circle with the scroll wheel. And now we can get kind of a head shape. Press O to disable proportional editing. And now we have this head looking shape. I also want I just want to fix some stuff here. So it looks better. You can press control tab to swap between mesh select modes. Go to face select mode. And now we're going to extrude and this is going to be our neck. I want to press SZ0 to scale it on the Z axis to flatten it. And I'll just move this so my neck is in the middle here. And I just want to make this so it looks something like a neck. Okay, so I think this is a good enough neck. Go into face select mode, select this face. Now we're going to make the torso of our character. So just extrude down. And I want to scale this on the Y axis. So just select everything and scale on Y. So this will be kind of the thickness of our body. Maybe you can move it up, uh, move it uh, backwards a bit and then move the mesh again. And I also want to scale it on the X axis. Scale on X. I think this will be fine. And we want to add a few loop cuts. So you can press Ctrl R and then you'll see that it will add a loop cut here. And you can use your scroll wheel to increase the number of loop cuts. I'm going to add three and just right click to center them. And let's just shape this from the front view here. Make sure when you're moving the vertices, I always like to go into wireframe mode and select the backwards vertices because if you don't do it like that, you're just going to select the front one and then weird stuff happens. The neck is looking a bit too wide so I want to add a loop cut here and then scale it so it looks more like a neck. Maybe move it down a bit. Something like this looks good. I want to select the head and make it a bit smaller because it seems it's uh, too big. And just scale it. Scale it in the X axis, move it up and maybe scale the neck a bit more. So it's a bit thinner. I will add a loop cut here. So we can extrude our arms and I will also add a loop cut here. And now I want to create a kind of a cir 
circular shape here. So I'll just select these four vertices and scale them. So I kind of get the arm shape here. Before we extrude some arms, I want to get the torso shape from the side. So I will just move this in a bit. Go into face select mode and select these four faces and now we can extrude the shoulders. Just extrude something like this will work, maybe a bit more. And I want to add a loop cut here. This is mostly what I did wrong in my previous tutorial. I kinda made some weird shoulders and then the arms would deform very weirdly. This kind of looks like the shoulders. I maybe want to just pull this out a bit more. And then I think that is good. Go into face select mode, select these four again, and just extrude the arms. Press SZ0 to flatten the arms here. Scale it a bit, go to side view and maybe move them a bit backwards. Extrude again, and now move them a bit forward, rotate, scale, and that looks alright. Again, like the last time, I'm going to be making very simple fists, no fingers. Keep it simple. I will extrude once more here, move it in again. You can see that these are not flat, so you can just press SX0 to flatten them. And I will take these ones and just move them closer here. Okay, that looks all right. Now you can go into face select mode, select these two, and extrude your legs. I'll just move it, rotate it, and you can press SZ0 to flatten it again. Scale this looks. I think the torso is a bit too long, so I'll just go and move this up. I will extrude once more for the lower part of the leg. Move this up a bit. Move it a bit inwards. Go to the side view and move the knees a bit forward. So they're kind of bending. Before I go on to create some feet, I will add... I will actually try to make this look a bit better so I'll just select these side uh, side vertices and then just move them on the x-axis do the same thing here and we can actually select this middle part and move it up a bit that looks better I want to do the same thing for the arms So just select these ones and then just scale on shift Z. So it will scale on every axis but the Z axis. And that looks much better. The shoulders are a bit rough here so I'll just scale this, scale this in.
the legs look a bit too thin so I'll just scale them and move this up maybe and now we want to make some feet so just extrude here select these two faces hmm. you see we have a little problem here but we can fix that by selecting this middle face and scaling it on the x-axis and now we'll just extrude our foot trying to get the appropriate size for this body something like this I think will work I'll move these down and I'll move select these two these four vertices actually and then scale on the x-axis and do the same thing here I think it just looks better add a loop cut here for the fingers around here and move it down move this down also maybe move this part a bit up I want to add another loop cut across the whole body uh, across the legs and across the body here that will help us uh, we can select this this loop cut by pressing alt and uh, right clicking I want to deselect some of them because it won't look good and now you can press alt s to thicken this up a bit and this one kind of went down down so we'll just select this whole thing and press s z zero okay the torso is also looking a bit too blocky so we'll just take this and move it in So like this, move it a bit in. The chest isn't looking too good, so we'll just take this and move it out. I maybe want to move this back part in a bit too. And select this middle part right here and move it in a bit so it gives a nice shape shape to the back and the head is definitely looking too blocky also so we'll just try and fix that the head is looking a bit too sharp so we'll just add a few loop cuts and scale it so it looks a bit more round. I actually don't want this part to look that way so I'll just move this in. We can kind of move this a bit forward so it looks kind of like a nose. that looks a bit better but I still think the head is a bit too large so we'll select the head we can use B to box select and then scale it in also scale it on the x-axis I think that looks much better and kind of move it a bit backwards and take the neck and scale that too. move that down See how that looks. Not too bad, but it's uh, looking a bit too flat. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go around and add a few loop cuts where it needs to to thicken it up a bit.
this back part is looking a bit weird so we can maybe add a loop cut here to make this look more like a butt definitely looks better and I would say this is probably 10 times better than the character in the last series this one actually has some cool stuff to it and once again for when we'll be rigging this I want to add a few loop cuts here so it deforms better I will also add a loop cut here maybe Maybe thicken that up. And that looks very good. And I actually want to just maybe move this down. So it looks better. I maybe want to make this neck look more like a neck by pulling some of these up. Something like that seems cool. Move this. I just move this a bit more towards the neck. I think it looks better. And that's it for this part. In the next part, we're going to be rigging this character. If this helped you or if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Go follow me on my social media, there's a link to that in the description, and of course subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you here next time, bye bye.